Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make a cloudy moonlit evening sky from a cloudy day. This tutorial is sort of an extension of an earlier tutorial I did on CS6's new feature called Color Lookups. In it, I briefly described how you could quickly add a moon to a clear evening sky. The size of this document is 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Open your photo you'd like to transform. If you want to use this image, I provided its link in the video descriptions area. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Color Lookup. Click on the arrow to the right of the 3D LUT file. Choose Moonlight and click OK. Now all we need to do is add the moon. Find a photo of a moon you like and open the document. I provided the link for this moon if you'd like to use it. To get it into our background document, click down anywhere in the image and drag it up onto the tab of the sky. With your mouse or pen still held down, drag it down onto the sky and release. If you want to resize your moon, press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up your transform tool. Go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag in. To move it, click inside your transform and move it. When you're happy with the size and position, press Enter or Return. We'll rename it Moon. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the layer to make it into a selection. Go to the New Layer icon and press Ctrl or Command and then click on it. This makes a new layer below the active layer. We'll fill the circular selection with white and since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. We'll name it Circle. Since the white circle is beneath our moon layer in the Layers panel, it's hidden under the moon. Let's delete the selection. Press Ctrl or Command plus D. Click on the FX icon and choose Outer Glow. Click on the color box and choose White. Make the Blend Mode Normal and the Opacity 87%. I'll make the size 117 pixels. Depending on the size and resolution of your photo, you may want to change this number. Click on the moon layer to make it active and make the opacity 27%. Let's make a copy of the outer glow effects of the circle and place it on the moon. To do this, press and hold Alt or Option and drag it on top of the moon. Double click on the moon's outer glow. We'll make the opacity 100% and the size 24 pixels. Because this photo has a lot of dark clouds, I'd like them to cover some of the moon. Go to the circle layer and press shift. Now both the moon and the circle are highlighted. Now press Ctrl or Command plus G to group them into a folder. We'll rename it Moon. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the moon folder. Anything we do in this layer mask will affect all the layers inside the folder. Call up your brush tool and I'm using a 200 point brush with an opacity of 65 percent. I'll brush over the top of the moon to reveal some of the heavy clouds over it. The last step will be to make a subtle corona of light that oftentimes encircles the moon. Make a new layer and call up your elliptical marquee tool. Drag out a circle from the center of the moon and go to Edit and Stroke. I'll make it 20 pixels and outside. Then delete the selection. Go to the layer and press Ctrl or Command and click on it to make it into a selection. We'll drag the ring to the trash since we have the selection. Make a new layer and go to Select, Modify and Feather. We'll feather it by 20 pixels. Fill it with white. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Change the blend mode to overlay and the opacity to 20%. Then delete the selection. I'd like to make the corona a little larger, so I'll call up my transform tool, go to a corner, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag out. When you're happy with the size, press Enter or Return. 
Have fun transforming your cloudy daytime photos into beautiful moonlit evening skies. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.